Welcome to the Proton Guru video practice for topics 5.5 to 6. These problems will give you practice on various types of alkene metathesis reactions. Some brief and straightforward reading to get you ready for these kinds of problems can be found in the Organic Chemistry 2 Primer 2019 by Professor Hujiri and co-workers. And you can find additional chemistry videos and information how to match up these videos with whatever textbook your course is using at protonguru.com. Our first question asks us to provide the major organic products of this reaction. And as soon as you see the Grubbs catalyst, you should think about the alkene metathesis. And many of the alkene metathesis reactions we saw in the primer involve evolution of ethylene, removal of a CH2 unit from one side of an alkene. And the metathesis reaction will always be a reaction that breaks a carbon-carbon double bond. So it's helpful to identify the CH2 unit that will be lost as ethylene, and that leaves this fragment. So when two of these molecules are involved in alkene metathesis, you would have two of these fragments attached to one another, and two of these fragments attached to one another, leading to these products. The ethylene is, of course, a gas which will bubble out of your flask, leaving you with these two fragments to attach to one another. This is the new carbon-carbon double bond that's been formed by the metathesis catalytic cycle and we would expect mostly the trans isomer for steric reasons. In addition to simple cross metathesis, we know that the metathesis catalyst can also facilitate formation of many cyclic or polymeric products. So when you see the Schrock catalyst, the other very famous named catalyst in metathesis chemistry, you would think about doing a metathesis reaction, and this is asking you specifically to make a cyclic organic product. So you would first want to identify where the CH2 groups are of these CC double bonds that are going to be metathesized, and think, well, if those are going to be coming off as ethylene, and the rest are going to wrap around and form a cycle, then I have this 7-carbon chain. And when those are metathesized to form the cyclic product, I should get a 7-membered ring, in addition to the ethylene gas. Now notice there's this wedge here. But this is not chiral to start with because it's symmetric about that carbon number four. It's also symmetric here. So this is not a chiral center. This is just an achiral compound that happens to have a methyl group. And this would be the major product where this is the bond formed by the metathesis process. We can also do these metathesis problems the other way around where instead of being given a particular set of reagents, we are given a target product and asked to form that product by some particular process. And in this case, we're asked to make this polymer by the ring opening metathesis polymerization, which is usually abbreviated as ROMP. So it might be helpful to think about the ROMP general mechanism here, where you have some initially cyclic, as the term ring opening suggests, has to start as a ring to be open, cyclic alkene. And we're going to break that bond so that same linker that links the two doubly bound carbons in the starting material is present in the product. This is a case where you do not evolve ethylene. There aren't any CH2 units because there aren't any chain ends here. So all of the carbons in the starting material end up in the polymer. So that makes our job relatively easy. If we look at the length of the linker between the doubly bound carbons in the product, which is five carbons long, we should have a starting material that is simply a cyclic version where you have five carbons linking the double bond in the starting material as we did in the product. And that would be correct. We may also be given a more complicated type of starting material, and here we're going to use the Grubbs catalyst to do a ring opening metathesis polymerization again. In this case, it's important to think about the general mechanism again, and we know that the entire linker, all the carbons in the starting material, will end up in the product, just ring open. So we need to identify the double bond that's going to be broken in the starting material, and then maybe number the carbons, and in this case an oxygen as well, in the linker between those doubly bound carbons. If we do that, we see that when this bond breaks open, it's going to be linked by a five-membered ring involving four carbons and one oxygen. So if we just open the ring up and rearrange these things, we could call these carbons A and B, A being attached to carbon one, and B being attached to carbon four, we can better identify where all the atoms in the starting material ended up in the product. And the linker between carbon A and B, which are now metathesized, ring opened, are going to be the oxygen and carbons 1, 2, and 3. 
and those will be manifest as the five-membered ring in this polymer. The final variation of alkene metathesis that was covered in the primer is ADMET, which stands for acyclic diene metathesis. And here we have a two-step process where we're asked to provide the polymer produced upon initial ADMET reaction of this starting material, followed by hydrogenation, a reaction we saw way back in Organic Chemistry 1. Well, to consider the ADMET step first, we know that these chain ends, these CH2s, should be eliminated as ethylene gas, and that the rest of the chain, the five carbons there, should end up in the ADMET produced polymer. So we draw that in, the five carbons with the now chiral center being retained. We didn't do any reaction here, didn't make or break any bonds to the carbon to which the sulfonic acid is bound. And then we think about this hydrogenation reaction. The hydrogenation reaction simply does a reaction where you reduce CC double bonds to CC single bonds. So the final product after both steps would be this polymer where you have a completely saturated hydrocarbon chain with periodic sulfonic acids. And of course, those will be retaining the stereochemistry that they had in whatever starting material you use.